Hello, I'm Ethan with EWCRM. I've built over 750 CRM systems in 10 years of doing this. I've onboarded thousands of users. I'm very confident about CRMs and automations in general. Today we're going to run through a full set of the features of Pipedrive. Some of you may be exploring a new CRM system, or some of you may be coming to me and using spreadsheets on the day-to-day -day for your business. Some of you may already be using Pipedrive and know you're underutilizing the functions. This short training series I've built is going to be for you. So first up, let's start with a day one build. This is what a new user would look like except for the deals that I've created here. They have their main menu on the left and we're going to cover briefly each of these menus. I have separate videos getting more granular on how to set these up in, in the rest of this training series. So you can go to my YouTube channel or my um, website EWCRM and continue with the series. So first up, we have the Pulse. This is a sequence, a follow-up sequence um, builder. So inside of this, you would build out your sequences so that when you're here on your deal screen, this is the most common place that you're gonna spend 95% of your time in Pipedrive. When you're on a particular deal like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner or Tony Stark, we're able to se select a follow-up sequence. This follow-up sequence can be send them an email on day one, make me a reminder on day five, send an email on day 15. So it's time-based, but it's a combination of emails and activities because Pipedrive is activity-based sales software. You'll hear me repeat that a lot through this short training series. So that's what the Pulse is. Again, there's another video on how to uh, create these sequences here, how to use the templates and so forth. Next up, this is your leads inbox. I like to call it the cold leads inbox. This is the junior varsity team for deals. So deals is what, are, is what we want to get to. We want to get a Bruce Banner, Tony Stark, any of these folks. We want to get them to where they're a warm contact, where they're actually on our deal dashboard and somebody that we might actually progress through the process to get paid. A cold leads list, this might be a list of people that you get, say, for instance, from a trade show. We know in the sales business that the trade show leads are always a low percentage of sales. We can import these thousand folks and we can work them in bulk. That's the beauty of this cold leads inbox and the power of it. We can choose multiple people. We could add them to a sequence. We could add them to a send a group email. We could do a bunch of things together, but it's meant to do group things. And at the end of the day, we're meant to graduate somebody from being a, a, a lead to being a deal. So the leads is the junior varsity team. You want to graduate them to be in here on the varsity team where they get the larger tile, they get more square footage, they get more of our attention, and they get better analytics. This deals dashboard, like I said, this is where you're going to spend 95% of your time in Pipedrive. We have a standard process from left to right. We're a Western-based culture. That's how we go. So Bruce Wayne came in perhaps from a website. I got an automated activity that says to make a, fo a follow-up phone call with Bruce tomorrow. I can progress the lead. I could trigger automations moving it from here to here. That could have triggered Bruce to get maybe one of those sequences we mentioned, or maybe a direct phone call, or maybe uh, an automation outside of Pipedrive, like using ChatGPT or some AI or some automated text messages. There's a lot we could do based on stage movements, based on labels being changed. Again, I have an entire video covering the deals dashboard. Moving on. Next up is projects. This is an upsell for Pipedrive. This is a Asana competitor. It is basically a project management software that allows you to set your projects up. So once the sale is closed, this is activity based sales software. So when the sale is closed and I win this deal and Mr. Bruce Wayne has a payment pending and pays me and I hit one, I can automatically move that deal into the projects pipeline where a different set of users on my company can be inside of here in projects and can build it out. The, the, the projects is meant to be so you could take a template and you could send that template and create activities based on it. So when a new job hits, you could say, gather the materials for this new job, go do a site survey. And these items can be put on multiple people's calendars so they could automatically be added to an onboarding team. Next up is your campaigns. This is where you, is the MailChimp competitor. This is where inside of Pipedrive, it is a small upcharge based on your quantity of, of uh, users that you wanna send out. So if you're gonna import a giant list of 50,000 people, prepare to pay some money for it. If you're gonna import a list of 1,000 or two, I think that's only like 10 or $15. 
you're going to, um, when you go through the compliance on this, this is what they call can spam compliance, going to allow you to send out emails to those thousand folks in a legal way with the unsubscribe button on the bottom and all of your details. In Pipedrive, you can easily create lots of great templates. Again, I have another video showing you how to in depth create one of these, how to create a campaign and how to send it. Next up, this is your sales inbox. This is where you're gonna connect your email. This is one of the more common things. So I said, you're gonna spend 95% of your time on your deals dashboard. Probably another 3% of that is gonna be here in your sales inbox. That is where we can marry multiple emails. So we could have on the professional or the, I believe the premium plan now that they call it. You can have three regular emails direct to you. You could also have a shared Teams email. So inside of those sequences we talked about in the first part, I could set up emails to go out from a uh, my own direct email or my sales reps direct email say I have a sales team of 10 and I want to send out a welcome email whenever a new lead hits the website and Tony Stark lands here and is, bam new lead in I want to send a welcome email and I want to auto assign that lead to 10 different sales reps on a round robin that sales rep could could introduce themselves directly from their email by properly integrating your email here not only that, you can put in your custom signatures. There's a lot you can do. Again, I have an entire another video in the training series where I'll cover all the granulars about how to create uh, emails, signatures, templates, and so forth. Next up, what did I say? Activity-based sales software. So that is what Pipedrive is. So we, we have all of our future activities here. It's our daily planner. It's where our sales reps can come in. It can be synced with our Google Calendar, with our Outlook Calendar, depending on what type of, of a uh, activity it is. But the most important part of these activities is this is how we as the owners or managers or the uh, supervisory team can get to be building out KPIs. That's what this insights is. This is a KPI database and we can build you out a phenomenal tile based KPIs. Pipedrive's done a great job on building it. We could do that but we have to have a great foundation and that means our people checking off their activities. When I make this discovery call to Bruce Banner, I need to check it off and say what's next on the, on the path of closing Bruce. Same with the follow up on a discovery call or a pipe drive training for Ron Weasley, whatever that may be. Next up, we have our contacts. Pipedrive was meant to be um, worked as a deal. So there's three separate databases. There's people, there's deals, and there's organizations. Here on my deal, I have Tony Stark from Stark Industries. That's the company, that's the organization, that's the person. So the deal is the higher ranking database. It's the most important database. Um, the, the person and the organization are able to have multiple deals under them, but it's important to understand the deals rankings so that you understand you always work the deals, always work your deals. Don't be in here working the contacts. Contacts is meant to do bulk things, to change labels, to do things in a, in a, a bulk way inside of this menu. You can also see some other things like a, like a uh, timeline of when they came in, when the last time you've sent emails, etc. Again, I have another video where I cover this in detail. This is your KPI dashboard. Pipedrive's done a phenomenal job, not only with the, just creating reports, right? I could create reports based on email performance of my sales team, on activities. Again, activity-based sales software. I could do reports based on how are those bulk email campaigns going or how are my lead, my cold leads doing or how are my deals doing and what is the start, the lose, win, lose rate, why am I losing them, what products are they getting, sky is the limit. Pipetribe's also done a phenomenal job with the AI here. This, this generating a report and just simply talking to it and saying, I would like to see all the emails that sales rep a and sales rep B made in the month of July of 2025. It will easily build you out a tile. So all of these tiles come together and build a dashboard. I will have another video on how to do that on, in my YouTube page or my website, EWCRM. Last up on this main menu list is what I, this little toaster looking icon is your products. That's a fourth database inside of Pipedrive that a lot of my clients choose to turn off. The real power in incorporating your products is is if you want to incorporate QuickBooks. So down the road, if I want to, to have Bruce Banner here and I want to use an invoicing and I want to install QuickBooks, by having proper 
products there, I can take those QuickBooks and I can make it into a real life invoice, correct to the organization, correct to the point of contact with all the correct line items. If you aren't gonna utilize QuickBooks, really the products database is limited. It doesn't have like a just-in-time feature where you could say, I have a thousand of these on hand and tell me the current amount. It doesn't work like that. It's simply to build it out in the deal and total it. So if I ch click on Peter Parker and I add products, I could add those products and build out a total, a total whether they're tax inclusive. There's a lot you could do. You could also build out installment plans. So if you're gonna break up that payment into uh, a quarterly or monthly payment, you could basically build that all out. But at the end of the day, you can't connect it to anything externally except QuickBooks for the invoicing. Next up, you've got your secondary menu. This is where you're gonna see all of those additional menus that aren't on the main menu. And when we go to, at the end of this video in a few minutes and we go to move our menu items from the left side to the secondary menu, we can keep just what we need on the main menu. So automations, that I, there's a 15 minute video on how to build out different automations, but briefly, there's a ton of great templates that Pipedrive's built. Whether we're gonna add activities or uh, uh, target our deals based on when they go rotting, meaning that they've sat stalled for a while, or maybe we have things that we wanna do based on external things, like we wanna send a Slack message to our team, or we wanna send a, a um, a Microsoft Teams message out, whatever that is. There's a lot that's built into here that we could build out as templates, or we could do our own automations. Next up, we have the automatic assignment. That is the round robin tool. I've done some pretty impressive round robins in my career working with Pipedrive for 10 years. I could do some pretty impressive stuff. So round robin, simply, I have four sales reps and I wanna split it up 25% each, easy. Or I have a sales rep that covers the East Coast, another that covers Central, another that covers West Coast, and I want them to be assigned based on the deal and that area. Okay, we could do that too. Again, I could get super geeky, but we could do a great round robin. Next up is documents. This is if you're gonna have some basic simple documents inside of here. So if I click on my deal, on my deals dashboard, and I go to the deal details screen about the Bruce Banner, the Hulk deal. I have a documents tab here. In that documents is where you can build those out. This is really a basic document signer where you can import fields, but there is some limitations. If you need great quotes and great documents, great signatures, I do recommend you incorporate the PandaDoc um, software as a secondary software that you're making a tile for and adding into this document section. It takes the uh, the on the the organic one that's built into PipeDrive and just um, supercharges it. Next up, you've got import and export. Those are uh, expert level features. You can contact me directly or I'll build a video on how you do that. The marketplace. This is like the Pipedrive app store. This is something to be very careful of. Inside of this app store is basically companies that have paid to modify Pipedrive in some sort of a way. They didn't get on here because they're lucky. They got on here because they're changing the software for better and sometimes for worse. So be very careful. The most important or the most common ones I see, I see Zoom a lot. I see Microsoft Teams a lot. I see Google Meet. So, so, so the, when you incorporate those, then when I'm on the deal and I'm on Peter Parker, and I create an activity for Peter, I can directly integrate my video call software right here in one stop shop. So the CRM system is your quarterback on your team. It's not the only player, but as the quarterback on the team, it can now incorporate a Zoom video, another player on our team, and put it all into my deal, put it all into my activity so I can be your sales rep and work one place. I could spend 95% of my life looking at these tiles and figuring out how I get them to move from west to east so I can get paid. Last up, we have our sequences. This is showing you which sequences we currently have in play. So the pulse is where you build them. The sequences is where you look at them. That's about it for the first video. So how you set that menu up, you're gonna come over here to your personal preference under your, uh, your name over here, and you're gonna come down to interface preference. That's where we can scoot these over. So if I was a sales rep, I wouldn't need to build out the pulse. That's gonna be for the management team. I may not need to see the leads because a lot of my clients don't actually use that cold leads inbox. It becomes confusing. 
I don't need projects because that's for an onboarding team. I don't need campaigns because that's for the marketing team. I do need my sales inbox. I do need my activities. I could move my contacts over here because that great trainer, Ethan, said, be careful with the contacts. It's meant to do bulk things. Keep your eyes on your deals. That's the higher ranking database. That's where you want to be doing all of your work in Pipedrive. Next up, I could build myself KPIs, but they probably don't need to be in the primary menu. And finally, products. That's going to be for the management team if they're going to utilize the products database. That's where they're going to build those product lists out inside of there so that you as the salesperson can utilize it on the deal level. I'm going to hit save on that. And that's going to create my much shortened menu that each of your every single user can create. So this is created for the sales rep. Again, if I was the marketing person, I would focus it on the campaigns. If I was the billing person, I might focus it on the invoicing portion. So uh, you could set this up particular for each person.